Hey everybody, Dee here from Dee is for Digital. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to today's masterclass, which is all about how to find inspiration when you're creating social media content. Now, if you're on social media every day, particularly if you're doing it for your own business, it can be stressful coming up with new and interesting and engaging content all the time. And I don't know about you, but I certainly sometimes I'm lacking <laughs> inspirational ideas. So I wanted to put this quick masterclass for you to show you where I go for inspiration in order to be able to, I suppose, constantly produce high quality, engaging, interesting, appropriate content for my audience. So we're going to go through six different ways to do that. So you're going to be full of inspiration by the end of this. So stay tuned. Um, now, the first place I'm going to go is my absolute favorite. It's Pinterest. And I know if there's guys out there, you might think of Pinterest is very female oriented. It doesn't have to be. Um, it is a fabulous, it's great for inspiration. And honestly, if I'm stuck on a particular day and I, I'm not feeling what I need to post, I'm just, I'm feeling sort of stuck. Pinterest is the place to go. So I'm going to show you. Let me share my screen. Let's go to Pinterest. One of my favorite places, I do all my vision boards um, on Pinterest. Let me get rid of these. Here we go. So Pinterest, um, now this is my feed on Pinterest. I spend a lot of time on Pinterest. I have, as I said, I have a vision boards up there that I do for my business each year. Um, I'm very visual, so I, Pinterest is just a great place to sort of get eye candy. Um, so what I'll do is I'll come on here and I'll take a look, this is my feed. And it um, obviously, the more you use it, the better quality and I suppose relevant stuff for you comes on your feed. So I craft this like you would not believe. If there's anything on here that I don't like, it's gone. And particularly, this looks really, really dull. So um, I'm going to hide that pin. Don't want to see any more of that stuff. Gray and boring, not relevant to me. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just have a look through here and it may be an image that inspires me and I can craft a, a comment around the image. Um, I do a lot of, well, I used to do a lot of travel before COVID like many of you. So there's a lot of stuff here on places that I would usually have traveled to for work. There's a lot of quotes here, which I will talk about as the, as the next one. But there are just so many gorgeous images that you can sort of go, well, I can take one of these and craft. Like, look, Alicia Silverstone, I could, if I was having a bad day, I could craft something about her. That's a very brat looking face <laughs> right there, having a bit of a huff. Um, I could do this one. This is beautiful about balance. Maybe talk about work-life balance or entrepreneurial balance. So it just is a beautiful place to get some inspiration so Pinterest number one, another great place, and I'll use Pinterest for this as well, is, um, is posting quotes. So maybe you have nothing to say on a particular day. It has been known to happen. Um, and sometimes to use a really beautiful quote is enough to engage with your audience, uh, to express a particular feeling or emotion um, and to connect with your audience. So I will always, you'll always find lots of quotes on my pages. I used to, actually, I used to think about four or five quotes per month on my feed. Um, but in here, this is where I'll come when I'm planning my social media for the next 30 days. I'll be in here looking at the quotes to see if there's anything that resonates with me. Um, actually, let me show you my, um, if I can show you my Pinterest boards. How do I get to my boards? Here we go. So I do a, a Pinterest board for my business at the start of every year and it's so 2020, 2019, 2018. Um, and my theme for this year was roots. I love doing this. This is something I will sort of do at the, um, over Christmas and New Year. So it gives me theme for the year, but it also gives me a lot of inspiration for my social media content, including my quotes. So you'll see here, and if you're, look, this was used on my social media feed only like two days ago. Um, but this really talks to how I'm feeling in my business, how I'm feeling as an entrepreneur and as a person. Um, and a lot of, I had a lot of fierce themes um, but also a lot of themes about being a redhead too, because I was blonde for a while. <laughs> I went blonde for a while and now I'm back to my roots. Um, so roots was a big theme for me this year, but look at all these quotes. So I can come in here and I add to this all the time. If I'm on Pinterest and I see something that I like, I'll put it in here knowing that on a day that I lack inspiration, I can come in and I'll be ready for it. So red hair, don't care in a world of full of Kardashians, be a Lucy. 
So this is always great social media content because it's, it's all well thought through because I've spent time on it. I'm constantly cur curating it. And it's like a bucket of love from a social media perspective that I can dip into when I need to in order to have content that is perfectly aligned with my business that I know my customers will love and is very authentic to me. So Pinterest could be used from two points of view. One, just for general inspiration from imagery, but two, from quotes as well. Now, another thing I want to show you is trending topics. So if you, you might want to post something that's very of the moment, although I'm sick and tired of hearing about COVID-19, yeah, probably you are too. Um, but often it can be, if there's something in the news, particularly maybe in your own country, um, the news of what's going on in your area can be great uh, fodder for your content. But you can also look at trending topics on Facebook and Twitter. And I'm going to show you tw um, where you would do this. I'm not actually a big Twitter user, I have to say. Um, now, where is my Twitter page? Hold on one second. Okay, here we are, my Twitter page that I don't really use. Um, but you can see here, if I go to explore, you see this trending, you can click on trending. Now I'm based in Spain, so it's gonna give me all of the Spanish trends. And obviously you can, we can do a little uh, hashtag look as well, see what's going on. But we can see all, a lot of coronavirus stuff going on here in Spain. But this is a great source of content for, what are people, looking at interested in reading about today um and you know i could pick i could okay i could talk about something like coronavirus right now i don't really want to uh, but something that i've seen in the news for example right now um hertz as of this morning is going bankrupt that's something i could talk about again very negative but you know there are lessons in that. How could um, an online entrepreneur learn lessons from what's happening to Hertz right now? And you can just get into news. The weather is beautiful outside. Summer is coming. Maybe I could talk about that when the summer is coming. So looking at trending topics, what are ideally your customers reading, talking about, listening to? So look at your trending topics on Facebook and Twitter and listen to your customers. Um, I have a community where I, um, I suppose, I hold all of my customers in the Ds for Digital community. And that's another great source of inspiration for me. So I will go in and I'll have a look at what are, pe what are my customers talking about? Because the best content you can put out there will relate to exactly what your customers need or want, their problems, their goals, their dreams, their aspirations. So I'll go into my community, I'll look through the feed, I'll see what questions people are asking, and I can do some content on that. Like that, That's my go-to place immediately. If there's nothing going on in my groups, if it's a particularly quiet day, I'll go to maybe a Facebook group where I know my sort of niche customers hang out i'll look in other places i'll go on linkedin groups see what people are talking about and i can get feedback there so listening to your ideal customer your existing customers if you're already an existing business where they're hanging out find out what they're talking about and ideally see if there's any questions being asked and maybe you can answer then their questions now another thing you can do is Giphy. I love this as well. If Because our content doesn't always have to be serious. We can have a bit of fun with this. Um, and I'm going to take you over to Giphy. Now, I'm sure the majority of you will know what Giphy is. But let me just share my screen again. Okay, here we go. Giphy. So this is Giphy. And you have these lovely little animated GIFs. Um, and again, if I'm feeling like I need, uh, I suppose, an anecdote or an antidote, excuse me, a right word, antidote to ho the whole depression around COVID and everybody is uh, stressed and, and, you know, anxious and a little bit fearful, sometimes we just want something nice and funny and relaxing to look at. And, and Giphy is a great place to come. You can see uh, things that have come up recently in the past few days. Generally, I will do a search on, look, you have your trending GIFs here, so we can use something new. Let me get myself out of the way, so we can click here, see all. So what GIFs are trending right now? Here we go. And this is a great little place just to put some fun content. Oh, this is cute. I love cute stuff. Um, so have a look through these. Hi, how, like, and I think this is perfect. Like maybe your content for today is just to check in with your customers to see how they are. And you could use this little guy. Hi, how are ya? 
Uh, wearing is caring, lovely. Um, so that would be a nice sort of COVID one to do. Um, maybe you're having an OMG moment. What's your OMG moment? Or what are your customers' OMG moments? I mean, there's so much stuff here that is upbeat, it's positive, and it's just feel good. And I think, particularly in this day and age, we want our customers to feel good. We want to be putting positive content out there. Nice vibes, nice vibes. And the last but not least, and this is my favorite, 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 is Flipboard. Now, Flipboard is what we've called sort of like a media aggregator. So it can pull uh, articles, blogs, all sorts of content from all over the internet and feed it into one place. So let me show you because this honestly is fabulous. So let me share my screen again. Where is Flipboard? Okay, here we go. This is Flipboard, flipboard.com. Now you can see my internet's a little bit slow, but up across here, these are the sort of themes that I'm interested in because who has time to read all the news all the time? I don't. So Flipboard basically goes out and looks for me on any topics related to digital marketing, online learning, e-learning, entrepreneurship, motivation, thought leadership, and it puts it all in here for me. So this is sort of everything for me. Um, how organizations can improve, di improve digital dexterity. Like this will be an interesting one for my corporate customers. Uh, productivity tricks, I'm interested in that. 10 skills to master before launching a new business, love that as well. So there's so much curated content in here. I know when I come to Flipboard, I'm guaranteed to find something that will inspire me or I can have maybe read one of these and then give my opinion on the particular article. But there's loads of stuff here, how to be boss when you're stuck at home, love it. Um, so if I want to add a new theme, so if I go to, for me, um, hold on one second, it's not there, because I've added so many. Let me click here, whoops. Edit favorites, here we go. So these are all my favorites right now and I can add a favorite. So if I wanted, what's another passion I have would be in relation to um, communication. And it'll give you, see there, communication skills. And I can add, done. And now it will add communication skills to all of the content that Flipboard looks for me. So it's updating my board right now. So I'll also get stuff on communication skills. Now guys, this is the simplest, easiest way. This costs nothing. Love it. Costs nothing. Um, and it's a curated, as I've said, it's just a perfect place to come and find content that's personal to you and um, that you know your customers will love. And obviously, the more time you spend honing what you're looking for, this can save a whole lot of time in doing research. I'll come in here every day and just check out no, I don't want to give any feedback right now. No, thanks. Um, check out what's going on in the world of stuff that I need to be interested in. It's also a brilliant way of keeping yourself up to date. Um, let me unshare here. So keep yourself up to date in your field of expertise, because again, it's in part possible to read all the books and watch all the videos and do all the things. Yeah, well, nobody's got time for that. But you want to be able to, so for me in the whole online learning space, I want to make sure that I know what's on the news, what's coming up next, because I want to be a step ahead of my customers, right? But I don't have time to gather all that research. So having it all on Flipboard, what is a great source of inspirational content, but also keeps me on the top of my toes so that I know exactly what's going on all the time. And that's how you inspire yourself to create fabulous social media content, even when you're lacking inspiration, which will happen every now and again. So I hope you found that really useful. Pinterest for images and quotes. Look at what's trending. Listen to your customers. Giphy and fabulous Flipboard. Try them out. Let me know how you get on. If you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll see you tomorrow for our next match.